हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई क्वांटा सो ज्योमेट्री फॉर कैट सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ ज्योमेट्री एंड वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस बेसिक्स प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन दोज थ्योरीज इससे आपको ज्योमेट्री पे अपनी पकड़ बनाने में काफ़ी काफ़ी ज़्यादा हेल्प मिलने वाली है एंड आफ्टर सम प्रैक्टिस यू कैन एक्सेल इन कैट एग्जाम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स सो इन अ ट्राइंगल देर आर थ्री वर्टिस वर्टेक्स ए वर्टेक्स बी एंड वर्टेक्स सी एंगल बी ए सी वी कैन कॉल एंगल ए बी ए सी वी कैन कॉल एंगल ए एंगल ए बी सी वी कैन कॉल दिस एज एंगल बी एंड देन एंगल ए सी बी वी कैन कॉल दिस एज एंगल सी सो इन दैट केस द फर्स्ट प्रोपर्टी ऑफ ट्राइंगल इज सम ऑफ ऑल द इंटीरियर एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री now let's try to understand the reason behind it if i draw a line which is parallel to bc let's say this line segment is d e now we what did we learn in the first video where we had discussed about lines and angles that if there are two parallel lines there is a transversal line okay so all the acute angles created will be equal so can we say if this angle is theta this angle will also be theta similarly if this angle is alpha this angle will also be alpha right and if this angle is gamma then this triangle the sum of all three angles will be equal to theta plus alpha plus gamma as you can see some of these three angles are nothing but a straight angle which is nothing but 180 degree so that's how we get this apart from this there is another property of triangle which is known as exterior angle properties let's say this point is f then what do we know that angle acf angle acf will be equal to angle bac plus angle abc this is known as exterior angle properties meaning the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of two opposite interior angles this angle c is adjacent to this so we won't count this rest of the two angles of this triangle will be opposite interior angle with respect to this angle so that's why we call it opposite interior angles now next if we talk about the relation between the angles so if angle b is equal to angle c then we can say that their corresponding opposite sides will be equal like ac will be equal to ab and vice versa is also true angle b is equal to angle c so side length opposite to b is ac side length opposite to c is ab these two will be equal but if angle b is greater than angle c then we can say that ac will be greater than ab if one angle is greater than other angle then the side length opposite to first angle will be greater than the second angle all right apart from that if we talk about properties of sides in a triangle so what do, what can we say so first you should know that that in triangle abc side length bc is denoted as a side length ac is denoted as length b and side length ab is denoted as c so properties of sides says that sum of any two side must be greater than the third means a plus b will be greater than c a plus c will be greater than b and b plus c will be greater than a 
Apart from that, we can also say that the absolute difference means the positive difference between any two sides must be less than the third. Means A minus C mod must be less than B. A minus B mod must be less than C and B minus C mod must be less than A. So this, these are the properties of sides in a triangle. Now what will be the perimeter of this triangle? Can we say perimeter of this triangle will be equal to A plus B plus C which is equal to P. And if the sides of this triangle A is greater than equal to B is greater than equal to C means A is the largest side possible then the relation we get between perimeter of a triangle and the largest side is this means the largest side will always be greater than equal to one third of the perimeter and less than half of the perimeter. So this is very important point. Do you know the reason why this happens? If you know the reason, let me know in the comment. We can derive it from these concepts only. Okay. Now, you can check all the points that we discussed here. Point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Point 1, triangle has 3 sides, 3 angles and 3 vertices. Point 2, sum of all interior angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree. Third point, the sum of lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. The difference between any two sides must be less than the third side. Then we learned about the relation between angles and sides. If any angle is largest out of three angles, then the side opposite to that angle will be the largest of all three. And the last point, which says any exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of its two opposite interior angles. I hope that part is clear, right? If you have any doubts here, let me know. Now, let's go to the first question. It says, can a triangle have sides of length 2 cm, 5 cm and 8 cm? Batao, possible hai ya nahi hai? What do we know about properties of triangle that sum of any two sides must be less than the third. If we check this 2 cm and 5 cm, sum is 7 cm which should be greater than the third side but it's less than the third side which is 8 cm. So our answer is no. These three side lengths are not possible in a triangle. Second question. If the two sides of the triangle are 8 cm and 12 cm, find the number of possible integral values of the third side of the triangle. Now let's say third side is x. Our third side is x. So what we can say with the properties of sides of a triangle that any side must be greater than the absolute difference between the other two sides and less than the absolute difference between the two, absolute sum of the two sides. So in that case, we can say x must be greater than 4 and less than 20. That means x could be 5, 6, 7 till 19. So how many different integral values of x are possible from 5 to 19? So 19 minus 4, total 15 values are possible. 15 values of x. That is our answer. Third question it says if the two sides of the triangle are 10 cm and 15 cm then which of the following options is not the perimeter of the given triangle. So what do we know about the third side? If we take the third side is x and it must be greater than the absolute difference between these two sides which is 5 must be less than the sum of these two sides means 25 and what will be our perimeter p p will be equal to 10 plus 15 plus x which is equal to 25 plus x 
So in that case, if I add 25, so it will become 30 is less than 25 plus x, which is less than 50. Or we can say perimeter P is greater than 30 and less than 50. So if we check the options, 36 is within 30 to 50, 45 is within 30 to 50, 30 is not in this range, 48 is possible. So our answer is option C. Now, next question it says in the given figure, AP is equal to PD, AP is equal to PD, which is equal to QD, which is equal to QE, which is equal to BE, and BE is equal to BC. Find the value of X. It's a very interesting question. It's a replica of uh, one very good question, which came in the cat a while but still, it has its own charm. So you can try solving this question, okay? Then check the solution. Now, I am going forward and discussing this. If this angle is 10, what do we know? AP is equal to PD. So can we say, if two sides are equal, their opposite angles will be equal. So this angle will also be 10 degree. Now, in triangle APD, this angle, DPQ is nothing but exterior angle of this triangle which should be equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. So 10 plus 10, 20. Now if this is 20, this will also be 20. Why? Because PD is equal to QD. Again, check in triangle ADQ. In ADQ, angle D is nothing but exterior angle which will be equal to sum of angle AQD plus angle QAD, sum of two opposite interior angles. So 20 plus 10, it will be 30. Now it's given that QD is equal to QE. So this angle will also be equal to 30 degree. Now again, in triangle AQE, AQE, this angle, angle B, Q, E is nothing but exterior angle of this triangle AQE. So this angle should be equal to 30 plus 10, 40 degree. And if this is 40, QE is equal to B. So this angle will also be 40 degree. Again, in triangle ABE, focus on triangle ABE, angle BEC is nothing but exterior angle which will be equal to sum of two opposite interior angles. So angle QBE 40 plus angle BAE 10. So this will be equal to 50 degree. And if this is 50, BE is equal to BC. This will also be 50. What do we need to find? We need to find angle X. What do we know? That sum of all the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So we can write 50 degree plus 50 degree plus x degree is equal to 180 degree. Or we can say x degree is equal to 180 minus 100, which is 80 degree, right? And that is your answer. Okay. Now, let's go to the next question, which says, what is the lowest perimeter? of the triangle if sides of the triangle are different integers. Again, one very interesting question which you should try to first try and then check the solution. Here is the given that there are three side lengths. A which must be greater than B which must be greater than C. If there are three sides, all are distinct values. So, no one will be the biggest. No one will be the biggest. This is the relation that we get. Now, in that case, what do we know? That A, if A is greater, greatest side, then A must be greater than one third of the perimeter and must be less than half of the perimeter. Don't forget that. Okay, here, some people think equal to sign is not Equal to then when the three side lengths are equal. I mean, if the side length is 30, है, so 10, 10, 10, one third ke barabar hogi, jo greatest side hogi. But yaha pe 
साइट तो इक्वल है नहीं ऑल आर डिस्टिंग सो नन ऑफ दीज साइट विल बी सॉरी नॉट नन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट साइट कैन नॉट बी इक्वल टू वन थर्ड ऑफ द पेरीमीटर तो चलो आगे देखते हैं स्मॉलेस्ट सम क्या पॉसिबल है ए प्लस बी प्लस सी की अगर तीन डिस्टिंक्ट इंटीजर लें तो अगर स्मॉलेस्ट तो वन टू थ्री है सिक्स है बट ये तो ट्राइंगल नहीं है सम ऑफ एनी टू साइड्स मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन द थर्ड टू प्लस वन थ्री है विच इज़ नॉट ग्रेटर देन द थर्ड नॉट पॉसिबल इसके बाद क्या ले सकते हैं सेवन ले सकते हैं तो अगर हम सेवन लें तो देखो पेरीमीटर इज सेवन देन ए मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन सेवन बाई थ्री एंड मस्ट बी लेस देन सेवन बाई टू सेवन बाई थ्री इज टू पॉइंट समथिंग सेवन बाई टू इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सो ए मस्ट बी इन दैट केस ओनली ऑप्शन पॉसिबल इज ए इज थ्री इफ ए इज थ्री देन देर देर आर ओनली ऑप्शन लेफ्ट विच इज बी इज टू एंड सी इज वन बिकॉज ऑल थ्री आर डिफरेंट इंटीजर बट यहाँ तो पेरीमीटर फिर से सिक्स आ रहा है सेवन तो आ नहीं रहा तो ये भी पॉसिबल नहीं है ना इफ वी आर टेकिंग पेरीमीटर इज इक्वल टू एट इफ यू टेक पेरीमीटर इज इक्वल टू एट देन द ग्रेटेस्ट साइड मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन एट बाई थ्री मस्ट बी लेस देन एट बाई टू अगेन एट बाई थ्री इज टू पॉइंट समथिंग टू पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स टू बी प्रिसाइज एंड मस्ट बी लेस देन फोर अगेन वी गेट ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री इफ यू टेक ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री वी डोंट हैव एनी अदर ऑप्शन बट टू टेक बी इज इक्वल टू टू सी इज इक्वल टू वन अगेन पेरीमीटर इज नॉट एट बट सिक्स विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल सो एट इज ऑल्सो नॉट पॉसिबल दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल बट इफ वी टेक पी इज इक्वल टू नाइन इन दैट केस द ग्रेटेस्ट साइड ए मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन नाइन बाई थ्री मस्ट बी लेस देन नाइन बाई टू नाइन बाई थ्री इज थ्री नाइन बाई टू इज फोर पॉइंट फाइव the only value for a that we get is 4 if a is 4 we can take b is equal to 3 and we can take c is equal to 2 sum of any two side side is greater than the third the absolute difference between any two side are less than third so all the properties of triangles are satisfied here right so that is our answer what is our answer lowest perimeter so our answer is 9 units okay so with that we are done with this session okay i will come back with further concepts and questions on basics of geomet geometry so next video is going to be uh, on triangles again i hope you enjoyed these questions and the solutions if you have any feedback then let me know in the comment thank you